Yeah. Or you can. Uh, there's the subways and that sort of thing. I don't know where you're going. But yeah, it's still inconvenient, and you can't uh, like if you're in New York City. If you have a truck, good luck finding a parking spot. <laughs> there, I mean. There just aren't any, pretty much. I mean, it's in, and I'm I'm talking like a single cab, short bed, like smaller truck. Yeah, you still have to. It's hard to find a place that that has room for you to park. Yeah. All right, just gonna interrupt you for a and, minute, uh, Deathwish, because we got some story uh, time. Yep. So. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Oh, woe is me. Something wrong? Someone stole the king's magic trident. Atlantica is defenseless. Top it off, Princess Ariel has disappeared. King Triton's worried sick. He won't leave his chambers. Ariel, she disappeared? Errol's friend Flounder would know where she is, but he now he's gone too. Wait a sec. Didn't we just see Ariel? Yep, but she didn't look real happy to see us. Hey, wasn't she carrying something when we saw her? You don't think that was the trident? You know, maybe it was. What? That means Ariel stole it. There must be some explanation. Ariel, where did you swim off to this time? If anything happens to you, the king will think it's all my fault. He told me to keep an eye on her, and now this? What if she ran away because of something I said? King Triton will banish me forever. He'll pop his shell if we tell him Ariel took the trident. Guess we'll have to get to the bottom of this ourselves. Alrighty. Um, Finnish Capital City has good public transport soon, so public transport came to a low price, 60 euros for me, and you control to any public transportation vehicle, tram, trains, buses. Yeah, we had something similar when I was at uni, like, how long ago was it, 15 years ago? Um, because I actually, when I started University in Nottingham, I was um, on the city campus, then for my second and final year, I got moved out to a campus that was sort of like out of town and half an hour on a bus. So they actually did like a special deal for us. Um, and I think we paid like a hundred pound for the entire term. And that would cover us on all the bus and the trams. So something similar, but so yeah, I guess like two euros a day for public transportation is not too bad for Furious. Um, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. The converted price to British pounds very well. Two, two euros a day would be, uh, I think the latest exchange rate was like one one about 115 one euro 15 to the pound so you're looking at about or somewhere like 160 170 ish so eight pound 73 yeah where'd you get eight pound 73 from <laughs> doctress pretty sure the exchange rate's not that good <laughs> i'll be honest Jeez. okay um, i'm gonna have to start i'm gonna have to start buying some pounds and yeah uh, and, also, you finished your Emperor Dalek. Yours. Finished your Emperor Dalek model as well. It's good, nice to hear, uh, uh, Doctress. So, and you make a rend you made a render, or you're making a render of it on Monday. Yeah, I've run. A, I've run about okay. uh, in Europe. Like the mainland, and yeah, it was something like you can you can pay so many euros, and you're able to like you could you could travel across quite a few countries, uh, whether it's like you, you you take a train 
and then you hop on a bus and then another train and so on and so forth and it's all included in what you pay yeah uh, yeah i was like dang yeah we, we wish we had that every year but the, the difference being is it's it's just everything is so far away in yeah. comparison you know it's yeah i mean literally like when you when y'all travel in europe you go through countries we're going through states yeah and uh, i mean all of europe is i think just slightly larger than the united states i think well there was um an interesting um i think i saw quite a while ago actually which was um overlay of um texas over europe yeah just like that one like, like texas alone like is just ridiculous in size compared to europe yeah well and and that's smaller than alaska yeah but let's be honest no no one's going to alaska that's just too cold uh yeah crazy thing about alaska is uh, population per say square mile is the lowest of anywhere yeah uh, it, yeah but i mean you get a lot of criminals up there the suicide rates are high uh drug use of any kind with alcohol heroin whatever very high you know suicide whatever uh, like everything is nuts because depending on where you are you're so uh, isolated okay. i guess it, it's it's just you're depending on where you are in alaska it's uh you can be kind of kind of like uh uh northern countries like in finland and other other countries that you know, in russia and siberia and the northern parts where you have months and months of darkness and then months of daylight yeah so so yeah i mean that's kind of the reason behind it if you don't if humans don't get sunlight and that sort of thing then yeah your your mental state is downhill no matter what you do yeah thanks for fears i would i would love to travel i would love to visit europe and uk and the netherlands finland every everywhere over there i would i would love to do that but me be broke <laughs> yeah canada i have to say canada is uh i've been to canada and it depends on where you go in canada it kind of kind of like i mean canada is bigger than the u.s but there's hardly like the population is way lower yeah yeah uh even though per square mile we don't have that many we're concentrated in certain areas on the mainly the east and west coast and the south whereas canada kind of the same it's mainly towards the southern part closer to the american border and there's there's just yeah uh i mean 
it, 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 it's cold. There was a lot of snow. And then you also had, uh, like Quebec and yeah. certain places, certain cities, you have a lot of, uh, French. Yeah. And that sort of thing, uh, or, or dual language, you know, French and English, of course. And, uh, yeah, it's, unless you go to kind of touristy areas, it's, uh, if you go off the beaten path up there, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of like going to Alaska. I mean, Alaska's on the west side of Canada. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, you... Yeah, but it's a, you like, like, for, for, like, for me personally, it's like a, a Brit. When you just, like, look at the, at the United States on, like, a, um... It's like, like a map or something, you just don't... Uh, nobody tells you like the actual scale of it in school or anything. Like you don't appreciate how big a country the U.S. is. Yeah, you, know, you just, you just kind of look at it you, and think, oh, even okay, as yeah, a U.S. It's... citizen, you don't really realize because the scale, like like you see on maps, is not the scale. Yeah. So yeah, like if you if you move Texas or you move the United States over the the country of the U.S. over to the continent of Africa. Uh, it, and Africa is absolutely monstrous. It, it takes up a, a good chunk, but you can fit multiple uh, countries and stuff in there. If you get a scale, there's a, there's a particular website that you can drag countries and stuff and it changes its scale depending on where you drag it to based on the actual like size like you know square kilometers or square miles okay uh, and, and and you can actually see so like if you were to drag the united states or, or like say, drag Texas or whatever over to the UK, it would just completely, yeah, completely obliterate it. I mean, Alaska's huge, Texas is the second biggest state, and like a, to, to drive across it, if you're on one side and want to go to the other, uh, east, west, north, south, whatever it you're pretty much going to be driving uh more than one day yeah uh and yeah i mean yeah imagine imagine driving 12 hours and you're still in the same state yes this is crazy yeah it's it's absolutely nuts i mean it, well, you know, it's about 3,000 miles ish from East Coast to West Coast. Depending on, you know, where you go, but in general, it's about 3,000 miles. So. Yeah. And of course, that's the 48 contiguous states, continental. Because, uh, typically when you talk about the U.S., it doesn't really count Alaska and Hawaii. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It, it basically counts the contiguous yeah. uh, 40, 48 states that are, you know south of Canada, north of Mexico. You'd like to see J. Edgar Hoover building in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, I've actually been there. Uh, for fears. 
and Dactros at Japan. Uh, that's one of the many places I wanted to go. More than anything, I think kind of the whole just, just the culture of Japan is interesting because it's so the whole lifestyle and culture over there is so much different to the Western world. Oh yeah, and and most people think it's different than what it really is. Like they they think oh anime and blah blah blah. Uh, but in reality, uh, Japan, you, you don't have anime fans over there, really. They're not into that stuff. But they are, they're, it, it's like, kind of like the, there's parts of China, Japan, S South Korea, uh, you know, other Asian countries that, that are very... Uh, much into Western or U.S. culture, yeah. Uh, as far as like uh, music and uh, how, how they look and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's it's crazy how much influence we have uh, on the world. I and I guess it's just media and because we have so many. Uh, like Hollywood, uh, like the movies, were, were the movie industry capital of the world, yeah. pretty much. And music, even though a ton of the greatest bands ever have come from Britain. Uh, yeah, they, they still came to the U.S., and that's where they really blew up. You know, uh, uh, you exactly. ever heard of? Yeah. You ever heard of this band called the Beatles? The, the Beatles? <laughs> uh, yeah. Them. Uh, nah, you probably wouldn't, because they blew up in the U.S. for the whole world to see. Even though they actually came like from their neighborhood. It sounds like <laughs> somebody else I know called. Um, uh, Elton John, you heard of him? Ah, uh, yeah. I think I recognize that guy. Uh, Rocket Man? Yeah, that <laughs> sounds like it. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of the name of the place now, but... I can't think of the name of the place. There was, um... It was in, the, it was in his film. He had out about, like, his life and everything. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, the film is called Rocket Man. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, I, I can't think of the name of the place. Like a really famous place, like where he did his first show in America. I have no clue, but yeah, I mean, he blew up in America. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, because originally, I mean, though, it, he was it, just, he was just like a, the... Originally, he was just like a songwriter, though, wasn't he? And then. Um, he kind of got his big break. Yeah, he, he freaking. Just, no, sorry, tell a lie. He, he wasn't a songwriter. He was. Um, he, oh, he, worked, he, worked he worked with songs. his friend. He worked with his friend, and his friend was writing him a lot of songs. I know Elton did write um, quite a few of his own songs, so I'm not saying he's not a songwriter. But in the early days, he was working with somebody else who was writing the songs. Okay. Um, gotcha. He couldn't, he, he couldn't, like, his friend, like, wasn't a former, so to speak, so. Yeah, Elton, Elton John, uh, yeah. Fantastic musician. Piano player, singer, I mean. Yeah, and then, like the Beatles, uh, they. Like even independently after they broke up, George Harrison, Don Lennon, uh, when they went independent solo, they, they they had huge success. So 
Yeah, it's pretty wild, but yeah, there's, I mean, there's so many musicians from Britain and also Canada, but they didn't make it big actors. They didn't make it big until they came to the United States. Yeah. Which, Robinson's which Canadian, I'm not, I'm not trying to. Uh, I want to say she was Canadian, so I, I, I watched the, um, Actually. I, we, we watched the whole, um, controversial Pam and Tommy thing on Disney. Um, oh, wow, yeah, they I'm, had, I'm sure. Disney sure. had that? Yeah, but <laughs> it wasn't Disney as per se, but it was one of, like, the companies that Disney has on its books kind of thing that had it. Well, they own so many damn companies now. They bought, they bought out everybody. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Like Jim, Jim Carrey, Canadian. Uh, there's tons of Canadian actors and tons of Canadian, uh, like Celine Dion and uh, Nickelback and. Everybody can say whatever they want about anybody, but they they didn't. They came to America, and that's where they made it big. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have never heard from them. You know, uh, you you just don't have the same kind of formation that you do once you get in yeah. like you know like here in California uh, or you know New York I mean there's it's more than just Hollywood the Hollywood's a complete crap hole as far as people think that's you go to Hollywood you're gonna see stars yeah you might but it's it's a bunch of you're gonna see a lot of homeless people and a whole lot of yeah it's not what people think of hollywood yeah uh, based on like movies and tv or whatever yeah it's a complete well it's, it's the same it's the same right? as everything though, isn't it? uh, it's like it's, it's that stereotypical but yeah, hollywood makes it look like one thing and different then places but... you delayed again Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going crazy. Welcome along. I'm just listen, listening to you on Discord. Hey, crazy. No, you seem like ridiculously. Order seven still. ten. That's. I don't know why. I'm, like, literally, I'm I mean, saying things and I, it's like you're not I have everything for like five minutes. Except for Discord. And we're literally like talking over each other half the time. So it's, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, wow. Okay, let me cancel my call and then. Just get. Wait. Hello. Hello. Five, four, three, two, one. Say hello. Hello. Hey. Well, that better? sounds better. Are you sure it's better? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, that, got... I do not know. Unless my um, unless my machine is running sluggishly um, because of a capture card, I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, very delayed. 
very difficult to hold a conversation. Okay, so I'm watching on Discord and you were lit up green the whole time you were just talking and I'm responding right after you stopped talking and mine's lit up for me talking. And you're saying it's delayed for you because it's not for me. Seems it. I just I just think feel like we're constantly talking over each other. So I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah. I'm, well, yeah, I'm not uh, talking over you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. Uh, I'm I'm looking at the status around our icons, and they seem to be in sync. Like when I stop talking, the when when I say one, two, three, go. I do wonder if it's my machine because um, when I was um, when I went on to look on the internet earlier on, everything just sort of ground to a bit of a halt. So I wonder if there's something weird going on on my end. Mm. Yeah, uh, I've replaced uh, cables, uh, Ethernet cables on mine, and just that. I doubled my internet speed. So. Yeah, I've got a few uh, dodgy cables here that um, I don't use the right one. It um, don't get gigabit to the router, which is really weird. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I got a it's it's essentially a, a router but it's it's just a uh, uh, what call it oh crap i i went brain dead uh, a, a repeater uh, okay so so it's like as big and everything so I put that upstairs and it actually puts out Wi-Fi 6. Okay, yep. Uh, so, uh, as opposed to most uh, repeaters or what have you, uh, they're only like 2.4 gigahertz or... Yep. Uh, yeah, but this one's 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz, it's all the above. Uh, they sent it to me for the same price I'm already paying. I, well, I was already paying, and like, yeah, I'll take it. But, uh, it yeah, uh, we, we came with it, I guess, yeah, that was my point. We came with it, they put cables in with it, and they have I don't know if you've seen them. You probably have. The flat, uh, the flat Ethernet cables. Uh, no, I haven't seen flat Ethernet cables. Okay, well you don't want to. If you do, throw them away. Okay. Uh, because normally an Ethernet cable is round, and they're in four twisted pairs. Yep. And that's. For a reason, even though uh, your data is only using um, only only a, a a few of strands, depending on depending on what you're doing, and kind of kind of like a, I don't know how your telephone is, but like back in the olden days when we had actual telephone line you had four wires but only two of them uh 
uh, work. Yeah. To make the telephone work. Uh, so you could have a completely, you could have a, a, another number and then use the other two wires to have two different phone lines coming in. But anyway, yep. uh, with the flat, if you ever get a flat ethernet cable, if you ever see one, throw it in the trash, it's garbage. It, it'll, it'll cut your, like, like you have gigabit like I do, it'll, it'll yep. cut your speed pretty much in half. Like, I had a, I had a three foot cable. Oh, I was like, oh, this is cool. Uh, you know, it looks you know, nice and clean and three foot, three feet long. And I just, you know, plugged it in, yada, yada. Uh, I, I ended up running a speed test and my speed was cut in half. I swapped it out with the cable I made. Cause I'm, you know, I used to do that. Uh, with, I, I did fiber, Ethernet cables, you name it. I did all kinds of stuff like that back in the day. And yeah, it, my speed doubled immediately as soon as I uh, plugged in our regular Cat5. Yeah. Um, I don't think so, that's. Yeah. Um, I don't think. Not to create you there, Doctor. I think you actually mean the uh, fiber optic cables, not Cat5 cables. You can. Uh, because fiber optic cables have the, the fiber optic light within them, which is uh, what you can't look at. Uh, e normal Ethernet cable is just literally a cable, so there's nothing in there that you're going to look at which is going to. Uh, Cause you to be blind or anything, so yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see the the yeah, Ethernet cables are just uh, typically eight wires, and so you got four, pa four twisted pairs. Yeah, four pairs twisted, or unless you get the. Uh, ones that aren't, uh, well, you can get, you got twisted, and then you got, just, well, they're all twisted, but then you got the shielded ones, which ha has a, a layer of basically kind of like aluminum foil around, which, which they call it shielded. So it, it basically just eliminates outside interference uh, from messing up the signal inside the cable uh, and, and that's what we use for uh, like colleges and business all the all the stuff we did at home not really an issue uh, uh, yeah but yeah fiber optic uh, what you're talking about? Yeah, you from that? Yeah, yeah, you're talking about fiber optics. It's uh, that's what I seem you have not. Uh, that's what I. That's what I've had. Uh, yeah, that, you see, great. um, modern houses over here now get um. FTTD, which is fiber to the door, whereas a lot of old, a lot of properties that are, uh, you know, been around for many years, are still very much served by analog phone lines. So it's um, the infrastructure over here in the UK is a very much a work in progress to try and bring itself up to scratch, which is why fiber, uh, fiber and gigabit isn't isn't like readily available at the minute to most places yeah. there's, a, there's a big um, uh, sort of uh, I don't want to try I don't know what the word is it's like a big push sorry at the minute from like the government and stuff to try and upgrade our infrastructure to make it like you know, more 
Um, yeah, a bunch of bureaucratic red tape. Yeah. Same here. Same here. So, like, like, I got uh, fiber running straight to my house, like fiber optics running all the way to the house. And then, of course, once you get to the house inside, it, it changes to, uh, I have fiber optic and ethernet running to my router. Okay. But, I mean, you don't, you know, once it goes to your house, you can just do Ethernet. Yeah. So, but, but, but the thing is, is about it. And they have battery backups, which I don't use because I have a generator. I'm not buying a battery for. No, I don't think any household, unless you've got anything like any critical infrastructure running, I don't think anybody needs a UPS in the house, to be fair. Well, it, it, our our units, they call them ONTs. Um, they, they, like if you have home phone service, which I don't anymore, it, it, it would, uh, the, the battery backup, if the power went out, you'd still be able to use your phone. Yeah. Uh, like your home phone, if, uh, the, if the phone had power, <laughs> yeah, which you know the cordless, but you still have to have the the, the, the base uh, yeah. having power. So yeah, but you would you would still have phone as opposed to which I prefer the olden days when you had regular phone lines. Doesn't matter whether the power went out. Yeah, you had fun. You had fun regardless. So I mean, but yeah, they as, as soon as they switched over to fiber here, which I I gladly accepted. But you, you know, you lost you lost your always on yeah. fun, and so yeah. All right, uh, I got a story time segment coming up. So oh, right on, so. right on. She is. This is all my fault. I wish I'd never taken Daddy's trident. Should have known things would turn out this way. He did take it. Pipe down. Somebody's coming. No need to worry, child. You did the right thing. Why, I'm sure you'd do anything in the world to help your little friend. Poor Flounder has been swept away to the human world. No place for a little fish. Why, if we don't hurry, you might not have a friend to save. No! Besides, you're not giving me the trident, dear. Just let me borrow it for a bit. You can save Flounder, lend me the trident, and I'll help. I know, but Daddy needs to try and defend Atlantica. I need time to think. Well, it's all the same to me. Just remember, your little friend is dodging fish hooks while you twiddle your fins. Well, you can come see me once you've made your mind up. What am I going to do? I don't trust her, that's for sure. How long have you been listening? Oh, long enough. It doesn't matter. Sora's right. Don't trust that sea witch. She's up to no good. You can see it in her face. Then we all agree. Problem is, I don't have any idea where Flounder is. And she's the only one who can help. What about us? Come on, let's go talk to her. You shouldn't have done you shouldn't have you shouldn't have to do this by yourself. Really? You'll come with me? You bet. 
I know how it feels to have friends in trouble. Let's get going. All right. Uh, thanks, Crazy. And, and Doctor. Miss those times which you had to call with the wire phone? <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, it's those times, and there's also the times where we had dial up internet and you couldn't do use the phone at the same time as the internet. That was also fun. <laughs> Who remembers those uh, times? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I'm. I think me and I guess probably you are in the minority of, uh, you know, growing up with rotary things. Oh, yeah. Kids have no idea how ro what rotary uh, phones know, are and uh, how they work. <laughs> and. Yeah, uh, a lot of kids don't. Uh, there's a cool thing uh, that I learned, which. I don't, I, I don't know if it works that way anymore, if you still have like a landline, but back in the day, like, like you're, when you put the phone on, back on the hook, it, you know, it hung up and instead of whether it's a rotary phone or whatever you could literally click the, the hang up button to dial a number. So like you want to dial 911, you would go click, 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 click nine times and then pause one, pause one, and they would dial 911. Okay. Without actually having to uh, dial numbers. Uh, that was a feature over here. So, like, if you're in trouble, couldn't see, it was dark, yeah, yeah. being robbed, you, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Yeah. It, it was pretty cool. Luckily, never had to use that. But, yeah, nowadays, yeah, the uh, land lines are dying. And, it, yeah, just because of the. the yeah, everybody has a cell phone. Even though uh, 911 doesn't work on cell well, phones. You, do like you know it what? That's, it's funny you say that, right? Because I, I was thinking about this myself the other day. It's like, typically landlines are being phased out. And we teach our kids, like, in an emergency, dial 999, 911. But if there's no landlines left and that number doesn't work, um, I mean, surely, like, when, if and when, like, there's ever, a, like, a big switch off of analog phones, um, surely they're going to, like, redirect those emergency numbers, no? But it is interesting um, that, like, you raised that point, because I genuinely was thinking about a similar sort of thing the other day myself. As far as uh, emergency, is that, is that what you're talking about? Like the, the emergency? Yes, yeah, so I mean, like, 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 yeah. nine 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 one one doesn't work on mobiles. So, you know, when oh yeah, this over here, this. Then why do why are we taught then that um, over here we're taught that if you on a mobile you should ring one one two? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, I mean, well, I should clarify. Nine one one works on mobile phones, and but it not not like it did on landline. Landline was. You know, it, it's going to your house, and it's like when you get service, it, it has your address and name and stuff attached to it. Yeah, you yeah. can get unlisted, you can make it unlisted and stuff like that, so it didn't show up in the phone book and whatever. 
but yeah. Uh, whereas a cell phone, yeah, I could be right now. I could be at home, but in 30 minutes, I could be 30 minutes away from my house <laughs> and yeah. have to call 911. How do they know where I am? Well, they use triangulation. Yeah. And it's not as precise as the old school, even though it actually wasn't precision. It just showed up on their color ID at the emergency centers and they just saw that okay you know, your name address everything pops up boom and you may just ask do you need police fire or rescue uh, or you know like uh, emer EMS emergency uh, medical yeah. And and then they keep you on the line depending on what, what's going on. And yeah, but with uh, mobile, obviously, it doesn't work that way. Uh, but they can. It, it's gotten better. Whereas, like twenty years ago, when you used a mobile phone. You were shit out of luck. You had to tell them yeah. exactly where you were. You had to know everything. But now technology is much better, and they can, uh, you know, yeah, okay, you know the, the towers. Tower. Unless you're like in a rural area or something like that. Otherwise, yeah, they, they can kind of they can kind of pinpoint about where you are. Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty pretty darn close, and but yeah, they, they still want to you know ask if you're able to talk because I mean you know unless you if you're not able to talk then they can they can still find you. Uh, to answer your question, um, I've not heard any news on uh, them for uh, a little while, to be fair. So if they're potentially being bought out by the range, that's, um, that's good. But it's, it's quite a sad, sorry state of affair. And unfortunately, they've just, I think, become another victim of the online giant that is Amazon and the fact that everybody does their shopping now on Amazon. It's, um, yeah. A bit of a shame, really, because yeah. Wilco's been one of those stores over here that um, you always sort of go to um, for all your little bits and pieces. Um, but like I say, like many of the UK high street chains, um, yeah, I think they're just a victim of Amazon and online shopping in general, unfortunately. You got any, like... Um, Major chains over there, like that have been around for uh, years and years, Deathwish, which are like on the verge of brink and closing down because of like, online shopping and such. I'm sure, you have. Oh, yeah, plenty. I mean, the, the first one that comes to mind is Circuit City. Circuit that City. Was, yeah, that, that was like the place to go growing up my whole life. To, 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 to go to buy uh, you know, car stereo, home stereo, uh, washer, dryer, microwaves, you, you know, uh, electronic store, electronic store. Yeah. Like, uh, you heard of Best Buy? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, it was basically a Best Buy. Uh, and they, they were the king. And and then Best Buy popped up, and next thing you know, yeah. uh, seventy years later, that yeah, Circus City just went out of business. Uh, I'm really not a hundred percent sure why, but yeah, they just they just did not have the business. People didn't go there. 
like they used to. I mean, that used to be the place to go. Kind of like Sears. Uh, yeah, Sears pretty much is non-existent. Uh, I mean, that, that was the place to go to get tools and clothes and you name it, everything. Okay. Get anything. And yeah, now, nope. Uh, like, like, as far as tools, Craftsman, uh, Sears, Sears sold Craftsman tools. Yeah. And they, they had a lifetime warranty. And no matter what the reason was, you could come in 40 years later and bring in a crescent wrench or whatever, screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and be like, yeah, it's messed up. It didn't matter if you were just an idiot and messed it up or it failed, whatever. They didn't get, they would replace it with a new one. Okay. And yeah, so, and, but, but the quality of them were really good. So typically never had to do that, but if you did, yeah, it was great. Hey, Bavarius, just... thanks for hanging, buddy. Have a have a good night, and uh, I hope we'll catch you next time. Good luck with oh, the yeah. rest of your uh, Greek as well. Yeah, hey, have a have a good rest of your day. Micro Center. Yeah, we we have Micro Center. I, I, I don't know. We have so many micro. You name it. But I'm pretty sure we have some Microsoft. Not not around me, but there's there's some major change uh, chains that uh, it exists. But I there like I have to get to like Northern Virginia. I would have to drive a couple of hours to get to them. Wow! Imagine uh, driving a couple of hours to get to the store. <laughs> yeah, really, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why I think I would be fine in the UK because yeah, where I live, I'm in a suburb area, and if you you know you, you've seen like pictures of my like from yeah. the videos when I when I when I was driving. Yeah, so we're like, my neighborhood is, it, it, it's from the early 60s and full of trees Shit. and what's it, yeah, you know, what suburbia, but. I used something and I don't know what I used. Uh, uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh All right, I got story time coming up just to okay. uh, interrupt yep. you. Uh, yeah, no worries. Story time and boss battle, so. Oh, fun time. Yeah, not so fun time. <laughs> no, fun time. Boss battle, fun time. That's as, what long you as, the, as long as the Ursula in this game is easier than the Ursula in the other game, it took me like, and it's not going to take me like three hours or an entire stream to finish, <laughs> then I'll be happy, you know. It's yeah. a win-win for me. Oh, show. Here, let me meet my mic. My, so many guests. Have you made your mind up, my dear? I'll do anything for Flounder, but I need proof I can trust you. You said you could save Flounder if I give you the trident. Well, prove it. But of course. See? Ariel! I knew something was fishy. There you have it. If you want your precious flounder back, give me the trident. Ha <laughs> ha! Mine at last. Now I am ruler of all the seas. Let Flounder go. But of course, I'm feeling generous. 
Which reminds me, you always wanted to see other worlds, didn't you? Well, dear, I know just the world to send you to. Fortunately, this will be a one-way trip. Alrighty. Here we go. Sea and all its Denzians shall grovel before me. This won't be pretty. Fire. Fire. Then freeze. Freeze. All right. Wind. Courage. Actually hit her once yet, so that's uh, that's a good, isn't it? Yeah, God. <laughs> 